So I just want to make a correction to the uh, watch list because I simply categorized them correct, incorrectly in the list. But that is the updated list. That's what they should be. They were explained in the video. I just mistook some of them for um, the wrong category. I put some in the first red day list where they should be all in first green day lists. First green day, Aussie. First, uh, so this is an opportunity to buy uh, buy from the closing price or the high of yesterday. Same with the Kiwi that's already at the closing price. So that's an opportunity to be looking at this pair to, to buy. Um, Euro Yen, very strong Yen at the moment, but we've got yesterday's um, closing level as a potential support to buy the dump. Same with Sterling Yen to buy the dump from yesterday's uh, da, 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 from when's this from Wednesday's low and um, point of control that could be a support area we've had one one push two push three pushes out of yesterday's closing price peak formation low for the squeeze to the upside and we have uh, sterling dollar here uh, we talked about that one at length in the video but perhaps we're going to get support in here to be riding this up bear in mind uh, we've got one two or well, one two three four let's call it one call this two three tops above the closing price so this could be a um, continuation trade to the downside we talked about that in the watch list so just i'm not I'm not sure about this one and then the continuation trades are fine and so are the three-day breakouts that's already um, breaking out firmly out of the initial balance lows we've got one two third push for a correction from last month's highs 